thank you for canceling the plans of the devil. God, thank you for destroying the ah uh, the plans and the power of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hear by prayer at this present hour. Let the glory of God come down. Let the power of God come down. Let everyone here, yeah, let them be fully in the presence of God. Let them receive the bread of life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah. Uh, once again, we want to appreciate the name of God for giving everyone privilege to be able to, to witness today. It is not by power, it is not by might, it's by the grace of God that we are able to see today. Ah, uh, By the power, grace of God, we are going to quickly look at two or three, four, five, uh, things we are going to treat today last uh, week we treat on uh, on marriage we treat on marriage last week today we are going to be talking on the on some things uh, so we can quickly go on amen the first one we are going to deal with today by the grace of god the first uh the first uh, message we are going to deal with is uh, using of can do or any object to pray using of can do or any object to pray Use can do or any object to pray. Now, this is a big erotic something. There are touches around the world, there are people around the world that they are using uh, one particular thing to pray. Some people will go and be taking rose, uh, rose, uh, rosary. I don't know what they call it, maybe a rosary of a thing. Mary Catholic, uh, Catholic uh, Rosary and see it as an instrument of warfare prayers. Some people will take a, a candle as an instrument of war prayers. Some people will go into the to the sea and go and be taking salt to pray. Some people will be taking some materials. They will go to a mountain and go and go, go and carry the sand there. As a point of an instrument to pray, this is satanic in the highest order. There are certain things that God is not expecting Christians to do at all. If any Christian do it, it is a great disappointment to the kingdom of God. It's a great bad thing to the kingdom of God. In these little times I've been in the work of the Lord, and there are things I have here, there are stories I've here. I've heard somebody who was uh, who was reading the Bible, but because he was reading it in a different motions or dimensions, then he said he saw a spirit came and he jumped and entered her. And since that time, the spirit will be talking in her here, controlling her, destroying things. The spirit makes her not to have husband, and she, she begins to grow, you know, she grow in age with that husband. Anything she touch will begin to spoil. Sometimes she will go and buy expensive, expensive things. This person is a child of God, but because he was using the Bible in the wrong means, so he attracts some demonic entity. He attracts some fallen angels, which in his, which in his seat are by entering her, and begin to live inside her, and dwell in, in the body. You have to know that the scripture is an only book. And an only, only book that is go, is meant for, for, for development, spiritual development. Not, it's not meant for, for, for wrongdoings or praying wrongly. If you do it, you are attracting, you are calling, you are so, you are summoning the, so the demons or the fallen angels in the, in the realm of the darkness. And in doing this, what happens is that you fall. You fall. 
That's what happened. You fall. That's all what will happen. You just fall. That's all. These are the reason why you have to be very careful when you own the candle and you begin to pray. Candle is being is being is being used by some uh, some torches. We are not here to criticize any torches. We are not here to segregate anyone. We are not here to separate anyone or to cause this unity in the body of Christ. But we are here to correct the error that is going on in the body of Christ. And one of these errors are the errors of using candles to pray. And this is being used in Catholic churches or a, a Kerubul, a, I mean, a Catholic are also using it as a Kerubul and Seraph are using it. A, a Celestial people are using it. Zions are using it. And this is totally wrong. There's nowhere in the New Testament that God is approving these things. As, as far as it's concerned, anybody that is using anything as a means of prayers is going to go to hell. A part of you de driving out demonic entity and dangerous falling angels into your life to come and operate in a negative and in a ne negative ways and in a bad way, you are also going to attract the wrath of God and the book of and the book of life will reject your name immediately because you have become a witchcraft person. God will call you a witchcraft practice. There are some people that are witchcraft. The name that there was written upon them is a witchcraft. It's witchcraft name written upon them. That is what God is seeing them in the realm of the spirit. But physically, people are seeing them as a child of God. Meanwhile, God is seeing them as a witchcraft. These are the main reason why you need them to be extremely careful on the way you deal with things. You need to be very, very extremely careful. Otherwise, you miss it along the way. In the Lord that was in Jesus' name. So using of candle is a wrong thing. The second one we are going to treat this morning is praying on the name of a dead prophet to ask of forgiveness from God or to make everyone whatsoever, whatsoever. Praise the Lord. There is this general general deed that is going wrong around the whole world now, especially in some uh, uh, supposed churches. Going on around some churches, supposed churches that is, you know, and this uh, general did is uh, praying in their in the prophet name. I will mention some people who are doing that. This is not just about uh, their prophet, or he's also praying in the name of a particular living prophet. Is a dangerous thing you are dreading. Up. It's a big error that you are going to be disciplined. You will not go scot free. There are some certain things that when you try it, God deal with you. God deal with you straight away. There are some people that are praying in the name of Apostle Joseph. They will be praying in the name of God of Babalola. This is wrong in the highest order. There are some people that are praying in the name of Pastor Adeboye. There are some people that are praying in the name of uh, Pastor Lukoya. There are some people praying in the name of uh, Bishop Oye Depo. And many more pastors that we can mention them. You know them all. Anyone praying in this name will not make it to heaven. The point and the fact I want to ask you is this. Are they the one that died for you? That's the question. Are they the one that died for you? That's it. Are they the one that died for you? That make you to be praying in their name? Are they? Are they the one that dies? If they are not the one that died for you, then why are you praying in their name? Do you know how dangerous it can be for you? 
do you know how gosh god is always very angry when you see anybody praying in their name do you know how jealous god is when you see that people are praying in their name sometimes we have to be very careful it's not all things you hear people doing that you have to do as a sign of god or else it will put you in serious trouble the first question i'm going to ask every one of you is that is baba lola the one that died for you on the cross before the name of jesus can be given for a man to be prayed for to be praying in his day there is a sacrifice that was made there is an agreement between jesus christ and the father in heaven okay and the agreement is listen to me sir and it's okay jesus if you can't go to the world and die people will not pray in the name of jehovah again they begin to pray in the name of jesus this is an agreement between jesus and the father if you can't go to the world and die there will be it will be your name there will be what they will be praying on it will not be in the name of jehovah again because your name will be a savior to the whole world. please open to philippia let's see what the script in there open to philippia you will see what is written there chapter 2 so i'm going to read right now wherefore god also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of jesus every name should bow of things in war in the heaven and things in hell and things under the head and that every tongue should confess that jesus christ is lord to the glory of the father to the glory of the father there is a complete face there there is a complete synthesis that is written there it's you that did not know to the glory of the father for this reading god has highly exalted him before jesus name can be used to pray it, he died for you not just dying he passed through a lot of enmity beating was there a lot of beating a lot of persecutions crown was gone upon his head he was nailed he was beaten he was sincerely tear off the king that beat they used to beat him in israel when they give you that cane your skin will be removed amen that cane when they use that to beat you your skin will be removed completely removed your skin will be removed completely if they use the skin to beat anybody so uh, the, according to to what it is in israelite that king when they use it the vein will cut off so it will be a kind of pumping blood they will be skin, they will be seeing your bone like this outside he passed through pains he came as a human being passed through pain being beaten being crucified being put a crown on the head before the before he can before before he actually been able to give a name that in his name all things have to bow down he heard it sir ma he heard it what does babalola do for humanity he is a prophet he is a man of God. He is not Jesus Christ. Somebody was saying about the Bible said that uh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. Who said that? It is God who mentioned it and that I am the God of Abraham. It is no human being. God himself is the one who said it in the Bible that said, I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of Isaac. I am the God of Jacob. 
Nothing on this earth should be mentioned as in the prayers. There are some people that whenever they are praying, they will say, okay, I will say, in the market, in the Gabriel, uh, yeah, well, all those kind of things. They are demonic entity prayers. They are not the right prayers. The book of Titus talk about it. Another places of the scriptures. There are demonic things that you should not even try at all. Praying in the prophet that has not died. How will you be using the God of uh, Pastor Adeboye? Uh, do you even know whether it's going to be the of heaven or not? Because everybody honors a man and says he's a father. Do you, do you know the kind of name God is calling him in heaven? No, answer me. You say, well, I will use the, the name of uh, Pastor, Ade, uh, Pastor Kumuyi. Who told you? We are the ones saying he's pleasing God. What if he has compromised? What if God is seeing, you know? You cannot use somebody's name who have, you have not known the ending. We are still to journey. We are still in the journey. We have not ended. It is when we ended there, we collect the crown that we can say, okay, well now we are we are now we are now a, a victorious person. Glory not yet. When you are seen on earth, you do have to glory yet. When you are seen on earth, who knows your end? Who knows your end? Hey, and according to history, Pastor hey, Allen, who God used with power. Powerful and mighty. He, in the in the last day, in the last minutes of his life, they caught him in an hotel. Drink who have he has drunk a lot of beers and aquatic things. He has drunk and over drunk. He drunk so that the the alcohol spoils his intestine and he died there on that spot. Go to YouTube and go and look. Press past uh, uh, Reverend A. Ale or Pastor A. Ale. Miracle, you will see the, how God is using him to raise dead, to raise people. Instantaneous miracle. This one is not going to come. Instantaneous miracle, and yet he disappoints God at the latter days of his life. There are many of them who disappoint God. I, I cannot be mentioned them now. Many people will disappoint God. You don't have you don't have right. Somebody was somebody came in, was giving testimony says, ah, I want to say ah, I want to thank Allah, God Almighty for, for the grace of our, our father in the Lord. Apostle Peter Daniel. If I have a dream and that dream, eh, I saw a demon wanted to attack me. So I was seeing Jesus, Jesus. So as I was seeing Jesus, the demon was still wanted to attack me. So I said, the God of Apostle Peter Daniel and thunder strike and that demon fell. He said, I mean to shout hallelujah. I said, no shouting hallelujah there. I said, sister, am I the one that died for you? Why are you using the God of Apostles, Mr. Daniel? The name is the only name. So the testimony was trying to lift me up higher than the name of Jesus Christ. I, I need to know Jesus Christ. It's not working. So I need to God of <laughs> Oh my God. I said, okay, you are you are seeing somebody who you go destroy in life. I said, if I ever hear you say that God of Apostles, Mr. Daniel, am I the one that died for you? I know that you trust that I'm serving the living God. Yes, I know. But don't use the God of Apostle Tata. Use the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus. Don't use the God of anybody. You don't know their God. He said, I know a prophet. I know he's in heaven. I know he's in heaven. What have you gotten to heaven and saw him in heaven? How so are you? Have you get into heaven and saw him in heaven? That's what I said. I know he's in heaven. I know he's in heaven. I know he's in heaven. Have you gotten there? You don't reach the place and see the pastor there. He says, God of our our man of God, our man of God in, in heaven, in heaven, in heaven. And you not get there. You didn't see him. So when you are saying God of our past and the man is in hellfire, what happens? The only simple thing that will happen is just that. The man, the spirit of the man will be, will be introducing you to a demonic entity that have captured his spirit in hell. You need to understand the biblical principle, the error going on in the church. Bow down for images. Well, I'm still coming in that area, so anyway. This is wrong. This is wrong. 
I pray in the name of Jesus that you will not go to hell. You people that are selling the position of Jesus Christ, if as 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 are, are trying to sell it and put the position of your pastor in the higher seat, putting Jesus Christ in a lower seat, you will be punished. Because whenever you use the name of your pastor to pray, you are ridiculing the name of Jesus. He ends Jesus, his life, sacrifice, holy life, innocency life. Before we can say, okay, his name, his name is Jesus, we'll be using his name to pray. In the olden days, nobody knows whether there is Jesus or name of Jesus. They pray in Jehovah's name. They are praying, I am that I am. That is what they used to pray. Jehovah's name, Yeshua, uh, yeah, uh, uh, as, uh, Yah, Yah. These are the names, they, these are what are the things they call, Omnipotent, Omnisk, whatever. This is where we are going to stop for today by the grace of God. The error in the church. Error that people should not try at all. If you try it, you will, you will see yourself in a serious mess. Do you use any pastor's name to pray? Do you use any dead pastor, whether he's living or not? They have no, they, 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 are, they are not in the positions. No, 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 no. Oh, like that, I, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please, please subscribe to the channel and make sure that you press the notification button before you go press the notification button and put always so that I we can be seeing the messages every time we can be seeing the messages every time so make sure you do all those things may the Lord bless you and be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and be with you in the name of Jesus Christ don't forget to subscribe share let people know about it there are a lot of error. Don't forget that as you are watching the video now, God is going to ask you whether you share it or not because it's your responsibility for you to share it to your brother, for him also to stop it. Do you know how many people are doing this error and going to hell every day? Why wouldn't they go to hell when they are doing a big error? So make sure you save a life by sharing this to everyone. Save a life, save a life, share it to group, share it to places, share it everywhere. Save people's life, save pastor's life, save brother's life, save sister's life. Let them stop this error or else they will go to hell. They won't, they cannot make it to heaven. I'm telling you to say that. These errors, we are teaching over 250 errors in the church. And I'm telling you it is a lender rules that God gave to us to teach. May God bless you. In Jesus' name.